did you drop? <laughs> Nothing like scrap. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, when the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated them. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. <laughs> Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. Besides, shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives this. Amen! Amen! <laughs> but here, on this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. Fuck you! Get her out of here! Yeah. Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous! Let's go. Goddamn redneck assholes! Get off of me! <laughs> get 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 her her swear to God! What about get you? Me. What uh, you Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail 
Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid at a, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question? So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Uh, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. <laughs> Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? 
Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right, now what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Whoa! Now! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? 
No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight tur turpin... Tur Get out. Shit. Get out! <sighs> Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, elastic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah. I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I, I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, and, I, and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was overrun. They said that everybody the was dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would I see, you again. see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. 
So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns, I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, oh, come on, man. Hey, Corporal. I'll see you. Corporal, need something? New guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you come see me. Between us, Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, he'll rip you off, man. Great. Well, keep that in mind. <sighs> Corporal? Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Captain Corey, um, at the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. Open the gate.
Corporal. Good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. I got the gate. St. John, Fort Burrell, St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? Man, I don't think it's really Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Well, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry, what are, you, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh, shit. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bioweapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks to the ground, am I right? <laughs> yeah, look. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit. Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kits. You're gonna need one. <laughs> ore testing kit. Copy that. Uh, Cinnabar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. Gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these, uh, shacks? <sighs> Not that in here. Yeah, I can always use this. Okay, at last. Here we go, ore testing kit, yeah. What did he say? Red Rock, Dull Luster. 
Cinnabar. Yeah. Testing. Nice. This will work. Here we go, Cinnabar. Uh, that's the last of them. Let's see if his pump is working. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll do. Yeah, almost enough. Yeah, now we're in business. Yeah, that's it. Water's going down. Gotta finish collecting this ore.
Cinnabar. That's good. Good. Okay. Let's test you out. Okay. Good. One or two more samples is all I need. some more. Nice. This will work. Testing. Just one more. Here's some more. And now I just gotta test it. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. Ah, what's up here? Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Oh, I haven't been up here before. Beacon in here. Yes, neuro injector. Micro recorder, hello. Yeah. Jesus, that's a big guy. Yes. Yes, it is. Field note 2072. We're at site 69. The... Where are we? The Lost Cabin Mine. Thank you. The Lost Cabin Mine. We have euthanized a specimen of Homo sapiens mutans corporosis using 10,000 milligrams of ketamine. Reference in field note 2071, where 6,000 milligrams was barely enough to subdue the Homo sapiens mutans albino. We tracked this subject from its primary habitat and structures on the northern rim of Crater Lake, what used to be the visitor's center, I believe, to this mine. Currently, we have no working theory as to the subject's migratory habits, living patterns, or... How about why it's so goddamn big? Got any theories about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. Really? Yeah. Blood tests have shown that Homo sapiens mutans corporosis have extremely elevated amounts of anabolic steroids. Wait, so what? Before they became infected, they were roided out? Basically, yeah. Not that they were all bodybuilders or athletes taking illegal synthetic androgens. Some probably had naturally high levels. The result's the same. Yeah? What's that? They can literally tear you in half. Come on, let's get these samples crated up and get out of here. Oh, <laughs> roided out freaks. That's just great. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John, good, good. I'm almost ready for it. Oh, oh hold on a second. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of isopropyl alcohol. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger. Fuck off. St. John. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the hall as soon as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Weaver out. I can you use this?
Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Um, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. I, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so, words out in the camp. The trucks are making their way in. Right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I don't, I don't either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits, acting all suspicious. He writes in it, and out of camp all the time, so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, God damn it, Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. Got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call, yeah. Okay, Mr. St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, tell me what the hell are you doing? God, take you son of a bitch. No more ambush directors for you, huh? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teeth of us taxpayers. Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. Well, if he still has it, take his militia insignia. I won't have it soiled by the stench of a traitor. You got it. St. John out. This is it. Hmm. That's interesting. All right. Where? Oh, shit. Wolves. Okay. Gotta take a closer look. What do we got? Oh my god, is that Anderson, Nether Dragon? Well, 
How the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Dead Coyote Lava Cave. Well, nothing bad can happen with a name like that, yeah? A marauder Camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Injector. Let's see if it still works. Hmm. Oh, always had trouble concentrating. Another Nero recorder. What happened here? We are at the designated site 301, the dead coyote lava cave. Ironically named, since we're here inspecting the remains of a Canis Lucas Mutans. Runners. Hey, I've been meaning to ask one of you guys. You guys? Yeah, you know. In the research division. Uh, how'd the virus, you know, jump? You mean, how did it jump species? Yeah. I mean, we've seen it in cats, dogs, birds, these wolves. I, I didn't think it was possible. You know what viral, zoonotic, neuroinvasive disease is, Corporal? Mm -hmm, no, don't have a clue. Think rabies. Just like the hooligan virus. Rabies spreads through contact with fluids. Saliva, blood, semen. Oh, that's just gross. And while it primarily infects mammals, lab cultures have shown that it can also infect birds, reptiles, even insects. Do you know how many mammals there are in the world? A lot, I'm guessing. Yes, a lot. 5,488 to be exact, depending on who you ask. All of which, cats, rabbits, dogs, horses, skunks, possums, foxes, monkeys, groundhogs, and yes, wolves, can be infected and can spread the virus. Jesus. What's it mean? For us, I mean. Look at the musculature on this subject. The swollen and distended supraglenoid tubercle. The ulnar and radial tuberocytes. A normal wolf. could run 31 to 37 miles per hour. This guy? He could top out at 60. Shoot the tire off a motorcycle while doing it. What it means for us, Corp, is that we should be glad that most mammals are going extinct. Better them than us. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, better them than us. <laughs> Come on, come on. More bounties.
squeeze through here. <laughs> Still got your militia armband. Light it up. 